yet another SAT maths video it's almost as if we plan to make a bunch of SAT maths videos on every topic hmm this topic is really simple in this topic okay let's say I am making money by helping people pass SAT maths right I am not right why oh, I kind of <laughs> So let's say I'm making money by helping people pass SAT maths and to do it you have to join a course and the course takes like six months and every every month I'm making money uh, like this so my money is going up but let's say three months along in the process I decided to invent a pill that if you eat this pill you will just get us a 800 score in SAT maths instantly well obviously my sales are going to go up like this this is what this topic is about it's about understanding graphs you need to take a good look at what is on the axis and just interpret it let me show you it's an easy topic once I call it a common sense topic snow fell and then stopped for a time when the snow began to fall again it fell at a faster rate than it had initially assuming that none of the snow melted which is important during the time indicated which of the following graphs could model the total accu accumulation of snow versus time accumulation versus time so the first one is always the y-axis the second one is the x-axis so the snow fell then it stopped then it fell faster. E, wait, wait, wait. E, e is the answer one time? Let's just look at the others to eliminate them. It fell, it's going up, then it stopped falling. Then there's no melt because the acute. No, 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 that's not making sense. It's falling fast, it stopped falling slow, that's not making sense. Well, this one didn't even gain me a little, a little something. So the best answer here is E. The only answer is E. Jake buys a bag of popcorn at a movie theater. He eats half of the popcorn during the 15 minutes of the previews. As we all do, Jim, Jake, we all do this. After eating half of the popcorn, he stops eating for the next 30 minutes. We don't do that, Jake. We keep eating. <laughs> then he gradually eats the popcorn until he accidentally spills all of the remaining popcorn. Yes, that happens. So let me see if we can figure out what's going on with Jake here. None of these really work you know, because how the amount of the popcorn in the bag would just go back up. So anything that have it going back up is a problem. Watch the popcorn going up here. Amount. So this is the key part with this question. Read the label on the axis. You don't make up your own thing. So the best answer obviously is be without even watching it. But let's look. He is eating it for 15 minutes. He stop and he eats it gradually. Tense part in the movie, so he started eating the popcorn and then he threw it down, so it just disappeared down to zero. So, B is the answer. Look at this question. This is the last question to go. Hey, wait, 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 and congratulations to everybody who reached so far in the video. Normally, people bust out really late. The glass pictured above can hold a maximum value of 473 cubic centimeters, which is approximately 16 fluid ounces. I don't, uh, I, I don't know nothing about ounces and things. So, fortunately, SAT gives you some conversions if needed, right? But this question actually applied to question 9, 10, and 11. We'll really look at question 10. Question 9 was asking something about volume. If you want me to do a question like that, let me know. So, let's look at what question 10 wanted from us. Water pours into the glass slowly and at a constant rate, which are the following best illustrates the height of the water in the glass water is pouring in at a constant rate now the height you might think the height would go up at a constant rate as well but it's getting wider as it goes up so meaning there yeah. need to be more water to raise the height every time it goes up because the volume of water that will be occupied in this space is more than like say this space here because it's wider it's getting wider at the top so I expect the height of the water to be increasing like this. Meaning it's getting slower as time goes on. So I think C is like the ideal answer here. C boy. 
all right people and that's it for this stuff let me know if you understand if you have any questions press like on the video subscribe check out my other series and different topics and exams is right around the corner to the December let me know if I can do a live session maybe on the second please if you all would be interested in that Bye.